My name is Dr. Tova Caldwell of McKee Panel Equine Services. Today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of fecal exams in McKee Panel's new deworming protocol. According to the latest research, deworming all horses with the same product at regular intervals is no longer a viable way to manage intestinal worms. We now know that this blanket deworming approach is allowing the worms to become resistant to our current medications, meaning that soon they will no longer be effective. To overcome these problems, McKee Panel is recommending that all horses receive a fecal exam in early summer. The exact timing of the fecal exam will vary depending on what product was used to treat your horse in the spring. A fecal exam will allow us to do several things. First of all, it will allow us to determine your individual horse's susceptibility to parasites. This will allow us to classify them as having a low, medium, or a high worm burden. Having this information will allow us to make specific recommendations based on your individual horse's needs. In most cases, we found that this approach drastically reduces the number of treatments that each horse needs per year, as most of the population falls into the low worm burden category. To do a fecal exam, we require a small amount of fresh manure, which preferably is free from shavings and debris from the stall. Ideally, the manure should be refrigerated until the time that the fecal exam can be run. So here we are in our lab with Kim, a veterinary assistant here at McKee Panel. She is currently processing a fecal exam and looking at it under the microscope. By doing this, we can determine not only the number of eggs, but also the type of eggs that we see on the fecal exam. So having this information will allow us to determine your individual horse's parasite burden and thus effectively manage it. In summary, by incorporating a fecal exam into the routine health care of your horse, we can in most cases reduce the overall number of treatments needed per year. If you would like to get more information on this subject, please contact your veterinarian.